Hey, what's up? This is uh, Skull Drawings. How's it going, guys? Basically, today I'm going to be doing a uh, skull tattoo design. It's going to be a, maybe like one or two skulls with uh, roses on each side. And I'm going to be using a regular pencil, some microns, and uh, also some, uh, some actually colored pencils today. But uh, for now, let's uh, kind of start out with the underlay. The underlay is going to be basically with a regular pencil. I'm just going to grab any pencil at my disposal. That's going to be this dark blue one, why not? And uh, let me kind of go over this right now. I'm going to draw two egg shapes for the skulls themselves and then I'm going to draw two roses right here and I'll figure out the shape of that. I'm drawing this kind of dark because I am going to throw another paper over it when I do that. Now, the thing with the skulls is, with a skull cavity, I use squares to kind of represent the cavities of the skull. And then I use kind of a triangular shape with uh, the nasal cavity. Don't forget the zygomatic arch, that's a big part. It's, he's going to be facing this, you know, this direction. I'm doing this pretty quick, pretty sloppy, because I know what I'm going to do. muzzle of the mouth top plane of the forehead the head and that would be one skull right there now let me kinda of go over the rows the roses are essentially just like several different layers stuck together so it's a little bit hard to represent sometimes because um, they're they're so organic. It's it's very different. Um, I don't know what it is. It's kind of difficult because of these layers to capture it in line, just showing value. But I like to think of it as small chunks wrapping around each other, kind of like a uh, kind of like when you get your hamburger. You know what I mean? It's wrapped in that paper. It's just like you just got to imagine that, and it's more or less random. I mean, it's not too random, but you know, the, in the yeah, they're essentially kind of random. I was gonna, right here same thing with the rose again the flowers smaller shapes on the inside and the larger ones as it go as it goes out right here to the other skull over here and again this is just the underlay remember that the underlayer Underlay. Same thing, grabbing the squares for the uh, eye socket and the triangle for the nose, kind of like that jack lantern kind of thing. Muzzle the mouth, kind of pops out a little bit. The jaw. And right now I think I have an okay, uh, I have an okay start. This is good enough for me to actually literally take another piece of paper. And again, I'm using, I'm using regular printer paper. I'm using 11 by 17. 11 by 17, remember that? There's a little, there's some gunk over here. I don't know what that is. One second. Okay, there's some underneath there. Let me flatten it all out. Do you see that now? See how I can kinda, I can kinda see through it. So this is just good enough for me to grab a Copec marker. This is a Copec SP 0 0.5. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a line. This is uh, gonna be basically inking line. I have to be really careful with this because it, I am dealing with um, 
something I can no longer erase. Um, the best part about this is to be confident with it. You don't want to have like a, you you don't want to linger too much with a line because it might bleed, and the paint you know if you leave it there the ink will slowly sink in. And we'll kind of leave this big blotch on the page if you're not careful with it. I'm basically kind of tracing what I did underneath, but throwing in a little more pizzazz, a little bit more angles, a little bit more detail, you know, and that's kind of a stylistic thing. And, um,. You know, that style uh, translates into other mediums as well, you know. Uh, definitely translates into my digital, for sure. When I do digital, I definitely translate there a lot. Pulling these lines. I do recommend this kind of Microns or Copec, uh, Copec ink, you know, that, that kind of like, there's a lot of control in it, and I really enjoy it. Throwing in these the teeth. I'm trying to do them too dark because I don't want them to look weird, you know, it'll look a little bit odd. <clears throat> going up over here, going back to the brow, throwing in some detail into those. Going to the zygomatic arch, going to the back there of his skull, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna right there from that skull, I'm gonna connect it into the rose. I want the rose to kind of come in front of the skull, uh, the back part of the skull. The reason for that is I want to unify the image. You know. Uh, the, the more unify the image, the prettier it'll look, and the great, the better it'll be for like a tattoo, you know, kind of thing. I really like unified tattoos. I like stuff like sleeves, uh, things like that. The reason I like that is because they're so beautiful for one, and they, I don't like the old-fashioned way. I used to see tattoos a lot in the '80s that didn't kind of go into, didn't flow into each other. It looked more like they just had a bunch of stamps all over them. I, I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, I got like two tattoos myself, but they're kind of not touching. They're nowhere. One on my one on one arm, and the other on my tricep, and the other arm. But I'm soon to get more. You know, soon I'm gonna get more tattoos for sure. Uh, hope I don't. I, I was really worried I'd get you know obsessed with it, but uh, you know that hasn't happened, luckily enough. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, it, they look great, and uh, you know, all the power to people that have a ton of them. But it's just, you know, not my thing. You know, I don't want it that much on my body. I just want a few. You never know. Maybe one day I'll end up entirely, you know, painted up or something, covered in them. I have no idea. Throwing uh, just kind of a little bit messy there on the edges. I'm not trying to make make it a perfect flower. Do you guys have any tattoos of your own? Uh, you know, a lot of people have them. Let me know in the comments. I'm really curious. Uh, you know, whoever's found this video, I'm very curious to see 
how many people have uh, tattoos of their own. Smaller down here, gets smaller. We'll color this too, um, so it doesn't look like a lettuce patch. And now we're going to go into the other skull. I'm going to try to make the other skull lower jaw come slightly behind that. And you don't have to make the other skull um, identical, you know. Um, you know, we're not robots. Also, it kind of makes it look kind of cool when they're not identical, identical, you know. Uh, just looks a little bit more normal. Doesn't look like you copied it over on a computer or something, which I totally would if I did this uh, digitally. I would totally copy and paste it over and then mess with it. Continuing to kind of go into here as well. Kind of showing some of the plane changes on this skull. Brow line, brow line again, top forehead, zygomatic arch, which is basically the cheekbone, cheekbone over there, mouth, connecting the jawline down there. Empty cavity over here. Teeth, upper row of teeth. Debatable, I might have made this too big. That space between the lower nasal cavity and the uh, top of the row of the teeth, I, might, I think that's a little bit too big, but eh. It's not a huge deal. Now I'm debating whether I want this rose in front. I think I will. I'm going to have this rose in the front of the back of his head, but I'm back of him. This one's going to be a little bit more sideways. I, I'm kind of ignoring the lines I did in the back there. Let me see. Small to larger. A little bit larger over there. Let's try to get more jaggedy edges. And I might have a branch so you can really tell what that is. Hmm, that one I have to go through. And, uh, going good so far. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to put a little bit of darkness into the nasal cavity by grabbing a larger Copec marker. 
This is a, well, no. This one's a T8. That's pretty close to black. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to fill that in. some lights hitting there. A little bit there. Kind of behind the forehead there, it's because it's kind of a cavity. Same thing on this one. And uh, that's about it. No, I'm sorry, that's not about it. That's about the dark parts of it. If you really want, uh, you can throw a slightly, you can throw a thicker line around the contour. That, that looks pretty good. I do that with a lot of my drawings. Pulling them gradually. Gives it a darker stroke when you do that. I'm sorry, darker stroke. Gives it a more graphic uh, look when you do that. It contains the complicated shapes. If I want, I could do this negative space in here as well. All right, we got that so far. Now I'm gonna grab a colored pencil. This is a Poppy uh, Rose Art colored pencil. And I am gonna Kind of just cover this up entirely in uh, red to make it very obvious that they are roses. I'm not going to push down super hard at this moment. I'm just going to try to cover it up. Just kind of, you know, give it this, this one through to get rid of the... Uh, Get rid of the white on the page. And I will also grab a green right here. It's a true green on the same brand, and I will do that over here with this. With the branch sticking out. The stem, I mean, sorry. Grabbing uh grabbing a darker color. I'm trying to grab a black. Can't seem to find the black. Can't seem to find my black. 
So now um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down a little bit darker and select areas of the rows where it goes deeper into the rows itself. Wait. As it goes deeper into the rows itself, I'm going to make it darker. Do the same over here with this rose. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go with this micron again, not micron, with this. Uh, Copec, the, the pen. And I'm going to throw lines, directional lines, around some of the petals, just directional lines so you can tell what direction they're going in. They're essentially just for style. They do add a dimension to it as well, though. Not a lot, just a little bit. And we're going to go down here, do the same for the skull, edges of the skull as well. Get through those three lines. It's a very stylistic thing. Right here, just kind of work. Forms turn, throwing a few different, yeah, of these all over. We do the same thing with the other skull. around the edges here. Again, you kind of have to be selective of where you want it. That might be it for this particular drawing. This has been a tattoo kind of drawing of uh, two skulls and two roses. Uh, if you do want to see more, please let me know. Uh, you know, like the video if you did, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Thanks a lot, guys.